was Boxing Day. It was um, a public holiday. Um, so it was my dad's birthday, as well as being Dave's birthday too, which given that it was only eight weeks since um, Dave and Sarah's wedding, you know, it was still in, in the back of my mind, not that I thought about it a lot, but in the back of my mind, it was still this really good feeling of knowing that someone who we'd known for so long, who'd been alone for so long, had had, had this wedding and it was a really great event and things like that. So, so on that particular Boxing Day to get the call to say that there'd been a crash um, just at the end of my shift, a crash off on the mountain, um, you know, I headed up there knowing that that's what my job was to do without having any idea that it was Dave that was involved. Um, but yeah, when I got there, when I was told that the rider had been had, had passed away, had been killed, obviously that was knowing that it was a day after Christmas for a start, was, was thinking, well, that's going to be terrible for some family for this to happen. Then finding out it was uh, the rider's birthday on that day, that day that, that happened. Um, I think well that's probably even that's even worse. It's getting the thing's getting worse and worse. And and when I saw Dave's name, as I as I wrote about it at the time, I saw the name and thought, oh well, he's got the same name as Dave. But it wasn't until later when I I did the the checks and, and looked closer at it and just went, I can't believe it's I can't believe it's Dave. I can't believe that this um, this great fairy tale that we've just been a part of has just gone crash and. Um, and then, yeah, obviously to find out that Sarah was pregnant as well was, was even worse. And so, um, yeah, going over to her place that afternoon and, and, and holding a hand and, and stuff was yeah, an experience I never ever want to go through again, without a doubt. Personally, I don't think we'll have success on the road until our road tolls zero. Um, and that's based on my own experience, as I said before, about the people, the trauma that I've seen and people who I've seen affected by it. I've seen people with, uh, with iPads set up on their dashboard watching a movie while they're driving, especially if, they're in, if they know they're going to hit peak hour traffic or slow traffic. They think that that's okay because they're only going to be travelling at 20 k's an hour or something. But, you know, what about that motorcyclist that's filtering up beside you when you uh, change lanes and you didn't notice because you're watching a movie on an iPad on your dashboard I mean that's um, you can kill, kill still kill someone regardless of the fact that your average speed might only be 10 to 20 kilometers an hour it can still happen